What is going on guys? My name is Corey and welcome back to another cryptocurrency video on my channel. This video is going to be the long awaited top 10 cryptocurrencies for 2018. These are all cryptocurrencies that I believe have 10x to 100x potential in the upcoming year. Now, let's hope that by this time next year, all of these coins have at least 10x and I'm sure we'll all be very, very happy campers. So without further ado, let's get started. Real quick, I wanna start by pointing out that I'm not gonna be mentioning the obvious coins. In my opinion, it seems like a waste of a spot if you say, hey, I think Bitcoin is gonna be one of the top 10 performing coins of 2018. Like, let's be honest, guys. Everybody knows Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, Dash. We all expect these coins to do well, so it seems like I'm doing you guys a disservice and really cheating you guys off a position in the top 10 if I put these coins up there because we all expect them to do well. So I just wanted to mention that I'm not gonna be talking about these coins. So before you're like, where's Bitcoin, man? You don't believe in Bitcoin? Well, obviously everybody believes in Bitcoin that's in crypto, or most people do. Um, so I'm not gonna be mentioning that. So let's get started for real. Number 10 on the list is Request Network. Now, Request Network is currently trading at 96 cents. It has a market cap of 616 million. Again, guys, if you have seen my other previous videos, if you saw my market cap video, you know that it's not the price that matters. It's about the market cap. It's not the size that matters. It's about how you use it. Well, it works the same way in crypto, guys. Do not, guys, stop looking at the price. I just want to throw this PSA out there. Stop looking at the price. Learn that the market cap is what governs. Market cap and circulating supply is what matters when looking at a coin. Go check out my market cap video if you haven't already. All right, no more plugging myself. Sorry, guys. That's it for the plug. I just had to point that out because a lot of people look at the price and they just jump on it um, when it's important to look at the market cap. So the market cap is 616 million and Request Network, what is it? Request Network is a decentralized network for payment requests. So just like it sounds, you can make requests for somebody to pay you. Picture of Venmo, if you've ever used Venmo, it's an app by um, <clears throat> the creators of PayPal. And basically, you know, you go out to dinner with your buddy, you have some drinks and they owe you 20 bucks, you paid for the tab. Now they gotta pay you the 20 bucks. So what you do is you go on Venmo, you request that they pay you 20 bucks. They see the request, they pay the request, boom, the money gets sent to you. It actually gets sent to your Venmo account. Then you can take it out of your Venmo account and put it into your bank account. Now this process usually takes a business day. For example, Venmo, it takes a business day, or if you want it instantly, they're gonna charge you a fee. Now, what Request Network does is it gets rid of that middleman, that third party, and it allows you to send requests directly to people and get paid directly to you. Now, you could say, hey, isn't Request Network a third party? You're not really getting rid of the third party because you have to use Request, Request Network. Well, no, because Request Network, what you're really using is the blockchain technology to actually make the request and get the payment. You're not actually putting your money into Request request centralized bank or whatever the money is being sent to you through a decentralized blockchain and it's going straight to you and you have control of that money so and you get it instantly you know you don't have to wait a day for it to go to your bank account or whatever you just get the money instantly so that's the great thing about request network now another great thing about it is that request network works with every global currency so us dollars euros yen yada 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 you get it so what this means is that you can request payments from people in other countries typically traditionally what they have to do is they have to convert it to the dollar and then you know they'd have to pay maybe some sort of fee and also there may be a fee for their you know however it is to go across borders well that's no longer the case obviously when it comes to cryptocurrency that's one of the benefits of using blockchain te technology and cryptocurrencies online to you to basically pay each other now some obvious use cases for a request network are online payments pretty obvious invoicing again pretty obvious that's basically in the name invoicing or requests um you know if you go and get your car fixed up they can invoice you and you can pay that request through request network another great thing is transparency 
auditing and accounting so this is great because since it's on a blockchain that means it's immutable you can't change what happened you can't change the transactions that happened in the past that means that any transaction that happened you can be sure actually happened which is great for auditing because what auditing is is let's say for a company they come in and they say hey you said you sold this amount of whatever the hell and you say well yeah i did here's the proof you know and auditors what they do is they make sure that you're actually telling the truth so they run the numbers and they make sure so it makes auditing and accounting just a completely transparent thing and easy thing to do because you're using blockchain technology so request network number 10 there's so many coins guys that i wanted to include on here um so i'm sorry if you don't find your favorite coin on here i'm sure it's a great coin i'm sure but I, I could only fit 10 so i fit my own personal 10 again this is all my opinion guys not your financial advisor so you know go watch some other videos there's plenty of other top 10 cryptos for 2018 so you know go watch a few of them and get your own opinion and either way you should look at all of them and decide for yourself what you want to do so without further ado let's go to number nine these are in order by the way so number one is my top currency for 2018 or my favorite one personally again all opinion so number 10 is my least quote unquote least because <laughs> it's really not my least obviously since it made the list so number nine we have omis ago now omis ago or omg is a ridiculously cool coin very ambitious it's currently trading at 19 dollars and 10 cents at the time that i put this slide together it's actually a bit higher now well i think it's almost like 30 dollars so a lot higher and this coin has a market cap of 2 billion, a circulating supply of 102 million, and a max supply of 104 million. I'm gonna stop mentioning the supply and the price. I'm just gonna mention the market cap. Um, you guys can read it on the screen if you so choose to. So what is OMG? OMG is a decentralized exchange of all currencies, both crypto and fiat. Yes, you heard that right. Any fiat, yen, dollar, zenny, rupees from Zelda or rupees from India. <laughs> any currency that you want to exchange um you can exchange it instantly and with low cost uh fees completely to anything else you can interchange fiat to fiat fiat to crypto crypto to fiat. you know you can go in any direction to anything you want and that's what omg aims to do so they're just a giant exchange for forex they're basically a foreign exchange a forex exchange um you know stocks well crypto and and forex like dollars so or different currencies for fiat so this is amazing if they can pull this off this is going to be a great central um well i say central but it's decentralized because it runs on the blockchain but it's going to be a great place we'll call it a central place but it's not centralized because it's on the blockchain it's all decentralized guys but it's going to be a great place to go if you you know if you want to do any sort of transfer so this isn't just great for people themselves it's probably going to be great for any companies that need to do any quick transactions they can likely use the omg network to kind of leverage off that and instantly transfer to whatever their preferred currency is so this is huge huge thing um, that has a lot of value potentially in the future now their motto is unbank the banked now i realize i typed that wrong there will be typos in here sorry guys but uh there's two letters too many on that first word so unbank the bank that is their motto so they're basically trying to get rid of they're not trying to get rid of banks but they're trying to get people to not have to feel like they need a bank in order to transfer wealth from one another so what they're going to be doing is they're going to have essentially atms i'm pretty sure they haven't really detailed fully what it's going to be but they're going to be decentralized cash in and out points where you can put money in and take money out easily into the decentralized exchange and then you can transfer that to anything else you want so this is pretty great um again a lot of this stuff is very ambitious and if they can pull it off it's gonna be a great thing so let's move on to number eight before i do that if you guys are enjoying the video so far please drop a like it would help a lot leave a comment with what your favorite coins are i would love to hear that maybe i see a coin that i have never seen myself and let me know what you think of my list do you guys like the coins which one do you like the most do you agree all that good stuff i love to have a conversation with you guys so go do that in the comments now moving on to number nine on the list boom game credits game for short pretty good pretty good ticker right there game 
So game credits has a market cap of 337 million. Relatively, oh, don't want to say it's small, but you know, in the grand scheme, it's definitely in the top 100. But yeah, it has a 337 million uh, market cap, so it has a lot of room to move up. And what this coin is, as the name implies, it's a currency for gamers, basically, literally. It's a currency for gamers, but what this currency is allowing people to do is it has a lot of benefits. So here's some benefits for developers. Number one, it has scalability, you know, harnessing blockchain technology. Um, number two, it has high processing speeds. Again, that's a feature from the blockchain and that network, that decentralized network. <clears throat> blockchain security. So that means if you're a developer and you're selling items and you're using game credits to sell items, you can be sure that they're not going to revert that transaction because you're using blockchain technology, right? Once payment's sent and once it's confirmed, it's gone, you know? It's a blessing and a sin, but it's really a blessing because, you know, especially for people selling things, they want to be sure that they're actually have that money, you know, no double spending and no funny business. So that and also cross promotion. So picture this. I play a game called League of Legends here and there. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. If you haven't, it's a very big game. Um, understandable if you haven't, though. But they sell skins and they also sell characters and you can buy these characters with real money. You can also earn it by playing the game, but you can buy it with real money. Now, what you have to do is I'll go to League of Legends and I'll go to their store and I'll say, hey, I want to buy a thousand riot points, they're called. So I'll buy points on their website and watch, watch this. So I buy points on their websites and I don't know if you've noticed, but the points that you buy whether it's League of Legends, whether you're playing Clash of Clans and you're buying gems, they're all really cryptocurrencies, if you think about it. Because you're paying money for this fake, we'll call it fake, fake coin, but it has a value, right? Everybody agrees, the developer's giving it value. Now, it's great, fine, microtransactions are great, it's a huge business, but what is the problem with microtransactions? It's that, <clears throat> for example, I have my gems in Clash of Clans. I paid $10 for them. I can't use those gems to buy on League of Legends. I just can't because they're not the same company. They don't work that way. Also, those gems aren't backed by anything. There, There's nothing that's besides the app that says I have the coins. If something goes wrong in their database and they lose the information, those coins are gone. Like they're not going to know how many coins I have. If some, you know, their backups are gone somehow or, you know, their servers get flooded. How are they going to know that I have those coins, right? They're not using blockchain technology. How are they going to know that I have that balance? If they were using blockchain technology, you know, this would be for sure. You know that you have your value that it says you have because you have control of it. And also it's just easy cross promotion because I can go from League of Legends to play another game and I can use my same credits here and there. So that's great. Um, and for developers, it's great because somebody that's playing one game can now come to your game and <clears throat> basically give you more revenue that, you know, there's tons of instances where, you know, if you're looking somewhere where you have some sort of credit, you know, virtual currency on an app or something, a lot of times there's some left over, right? And it just sits there forever and it's useless because you're probably never going to play that game again. Well, guess what? If it was a game, if it was game credits or a cryptocurrency, you could take that and just take it somewhere else and make, give that money to another developer. So it's great for developers because it allows them to make more money through cross promotion. That's amazing. So it's also great for gamers because it allows for seamless integration. You don't have to pull out your credit card every time to type in the numbers. All right, maybe your credit card saved on the account. So you have me there, but maybe one day, you know, your bank account just doesn't have enough money. So now you gotta pull out your other credit card. You know, you still gotta pull it out and, you know, put the numbers in. So there's that. It allows for you not to have to do that because you're just using game credits. It's always in your wallet, in your virtual wallet. You never have to put your personal information in. Now, what that also does, it is, it really, gives you a safe and pretty much also anonymous due to the blockchain um, advantage because now you only have to put in your your bank account number to wherever it is you're buying game credits in the first place you don't have to put your credit card number into this app that app that other game that other thing you know you only put it in one place which minimizes your risk of you know your information getting stolen because the way your information gets stolen is because you're spreading your credit card 
you know, in all different places. But if you're only spreading it to one place, the place where you buy game credits, for example, or, you know, in the case of OMG, for example, if you go to an OMG ATM, you put it into the OMG exchange, exchange it for game credits, then you're really never even given your information anywhere, you know? So it's super safe and anonymous for that reason. And this is great. This is what blockchain technology really enables us to do. This is the future guys. If you don't see this clearly with that explanation or thinking about it like that, it's pretty obvious how much of an impact this can have in our everyday life. So there's that. Now, another thing that grain credits has is esports. Um, I'm going to talk about their other coin, which is called mobile go. This is a peer to peer match play. It allows for peer to peer match play. It allows for decentralized tournament it's tournaments, plural, and also doesn't require its own mobile app. So this runs directly inside of game credits, mobile app or their mobile platform. And it's their coin, but it's their coin specifically for esports. So what this allows you to do is if you're playing a game online, you can run your own tournaments and the tournament has a certain fee that you have to pay, which you pay with mobile go and <clears throat> it has a certain prize pool that you're going to get. Now this allows you with their protocol to make sure you're going to get paid if you win that tournament. How amazing is that? There's a lot of times online tournaments where people play and they never get paid. So with this, you can run, you know, even high level tournaments just to make sure you get paid instantly and quickly and, you know, fast, no fees, all of that good stuff. You don't have to worry about any borders. If you're paying somebody in Turkey or in other countries that may have won your tournament, you don't have to worry about any laws that prohibit that because all barriers are just broken down from crypto. So it's a great thing that obviously is good for gamers i really like this coin and i real quick quickly want to talk about another coin that's not on this list but it's the competitor to game credits and a lot of people i'm sure have heard about it it's called wax token as a matter of fact i'm not even going to talk about wax token we'll talk about that in another video but i have some gripes with that token i'll save that for another video um so let's move on to number seven that way i don't just keep rambling about random stuff that's not about the top 10. number seven we have gifto GTO for short it has a market cap of 109 million, which is like nothing It's potato chips in the in the grand scheme of things. That's not even top 100 cryptos. So this coin has a lot of room to grow and trust me, it will grow up there. My own personal opinion, but I'm telling you, this coin is going to go up. I'm going to tell you why. So this coin, as the name implies, is gifting. This is a decentralized universal gifting protocol. Now, the people that make this are actually the guys that run up live which is a leading streaming platform in asia is one of the biggest ones if not the biggest ones i'm not sure don't quote me on that but they're definitely big um in asia i'll be honest i've never heard of them until i looked up gifto and learned more about them so i'm sure some of you guys will have similar experiences like that where you've never heard of this but they're huge so their team is incredibly qualified incredibly accomplished go look at their team look at their linkedins like i'm talking about mit google like high ranking google people like managers all of these companies fortune 500 companies like forbes 30 under 30 like they have so many people on their side and what they do with gifto it allows you to create and exchange virtual gifts so when I think of that, it's like it can be any, you know, quote unquote, stupid little, you know, gift that you can give to people. But I'm picturing also maybe a video game skin could be a gift, right? And you can tie that to the gift. So I think it has a lot of value. And you could say, hey, who would ever send gifts to people? It's just like a picture, a gift. Like, you know, who, who would send that? Like, that's so dumb. Well, guess what? People pay a lot for pixels and me i am guilty of that myself as well you know like i was talking about league of legends i've bought a ton of i spent like 700 dollars on that game over my lifetime so people definitely spend a lot of money on in-game pixel you know just pixels on the screen <laughs> basically a png file just look at crypto kitties and i'm going to get that to a second so each created gift has its own nature and character so, so this is pretty much crypto kitties except it's not just cats it's literally anything which is great and you guys saw the success of crypto kitty so this is gonna blow up i think because crypto kitties blew up it was only about cats this is about literally anything you can imagine it's backed by an amazing team all of this my own opinion but this is just what i believe this is a great coin and it's only number seven guys so we still have six more to go so Another thing is you'll be able to send and receive Gifto tokens on any 
they have that in caps literally on their website any social media platform so i'm sure that with their great team with their connections they can get into any social platform just like they're um kind of saying here so we'll have to see what the future has in store for gift Dome. but this is an amazing coin and it's relatively new and super cheap so definitely go check it out i urge you guys to do that definitely uh, a great one <clears throat> so up next number six we have fun fair fun for short 700 million market cap it has been moving up so much it has made me so much money all of these coins by the way guys i am personally invested in just fyi full disclosure um so yeah just wanted to throw that out there now fun fair has a 700 million market cap and the token is just such a good token actually i'm i shouldn't even say token because it's not about the coin it's about the company behind the coin and you know similar to ripple it's not really about ripple it's about the company well same thing with funfair the success of the company drives the success of funfair makes sense it's not like bitcoin where bitcoin is sort of like a commodity or it is a commodity it's like gold where you hold it and the value just goes up from appreciation and the lack of supply this coin goes up because there's actual value in the company um, that's behind it so what the company does is they're harnessing the power of blockchain technology to revolutionize the online casino industry so what they're doing is they're simplifying the setup and reducing the cost of starting an online casino i don't know if any of you guys have gambled playing blackjack or <clears throat> roulette online i'm not a big gambler myself um i know some people are but I've, I've seen people i've seen the different sites you know i've seen people gamble online and they all look different some of them are very crappy like the games and stuff like that and a lot of the ones that are good that have like the good uis and the games actually look nice um they're appealing to the eye and run well those casinos like they pay ridiculous amounts of money to code that from the ground up specifically for them so what funfair is allowing you to do or allowing them to do is to really reduce those costs and simplify the setups um, of that casino so anybody can pretty much set up a casino so they're basically going to be taking fees from people <clears throat> that have these casinos running um, with their proprietary stuff and that's how they're going to make money and also the casinos will be using the funfair token which means that the value of the token is going to go up and the fact that it's a cryptocurrency makes it anonymous all that good stuff you know a lot of people that gamble they want to be anonymous so it's just a no-brainer a great coin that i think is going to do amazing in 2018 um so yeah and they already have a range of working prototypes that you can go and try right now and they run really really well so go check it out on their website if you guys want to try out some of those games you can play with fake funfair tokens you know fake money um yeah definitely go check that out guys up next number five we have vertcoin vertcoin's very close to my heart i really like vertcoin but Vertcoin hasn't been getting a lot of love as of recently with the big boom. It did get a lot of love uh, a few months ago. But more recently with all the big boom of altcoins, Vertcoin has been getting pretty much no love and it's pretty sad. But Vertcoin has a 295 million market cap and it's a great coin. It's just simply like there's nothing too crazy about it. I call it the Litecoin Lite. It's basically Litecoin's little brother. That's what I call it. But it's a decentralized currency, obviously, <laughs> that's owned by its users. Now, this coin is designed specifically uh, to resist centralization. It's ASIC resistant. Now, what this this coin does, what that means really, is it doesn't allow for multi pool and large mining pools, as it says here on the screen. Um, so, for example, something like Bitcoin, the people that are making the most money in Bitcoin are people that have farms. Or really good rigs with like 10 graphics cards at least or something right those are the guys that are making profits in bitcoin so it's not very accessible now if you think of me personally or you you it would not make sense for you to mine bitcoin on your 1080 uh gtx 1080 graphics card you just it would not be profitable you know <coughs> sorry you'd waste more electricity trying to mine the thing in a year than you know what it's just not profitable at all so what vercoin does is it doesn't allow for that the developers do not allow for that and the code tries to stop that from happening as much as possible and this in turn makes it gives it more opportunity for all miners to compete fairly with each other so 
it's more distributed you know it's not solely focused on like people with big farms that make most of the money because they can't pool up together into large pools and it really gives power to the people because you and i can both be profitable with our own computers so it gives power to the little guy and that's always great people love that so one thing about vertcoin that i think could be is holding it back but it's also a good thing it's like a pro and a con at the same time is their development and the team is trusted volunteers that are working on it so these guys do not get paid by any company they get paid from donations and the value of the coins that they're holding because they believe in the project and they're working on it that's how they make money so they're putting their own time and effort now this is good because you know it's by the people that's the point but it's bad because that, that's probably what's holding vertcoin from really reaching those highs like litecoin but i think next year is going to be a big year for vertcoin either way um because yeah they've been around since 2014 uh maybe even longer i think it's 2014 but they're just a great coin another thing is they have the one click vert coin miner i have used it myself i'll be honest with you guys it's not actually one click but it's very close um so it's very easy it's actually more like four clicks as you open it then you gotta click on the pool you gotta select the pool type it in and then you can run it so it's like three to four clicks but you know one click sounds a lot cooler um so i'll give them that but it really isn't one click so they got this miner it's super easy to use you just download it boom run it and your computer just starts going in insane it sounds like a helicopter is taken out of your house taken off from your house you know so um that thing scared me i didn't keep running it because i don't want my computer to break i don't i mean i don't really want to mine with my desktop but if i had miners i would be running over a coin miner because it's super easy to set up it's foolproof so if you ever want to mine some coins you know you can leave your coin your computer on overnight and maybe you get a vert coin or something you never know and if you hold it long enough it might be worth a million dollars one day who knows anything can happen right so that's vert coin number five let's move on to number four number four is damn man this is number four that's crazy that means that there's three coins that are better than it and this coin is amazing so this is golem the golem network gnt for short 836 million so pretty substantial substantial market cap already but i think this coin has a lot to go um as well now what golem is is a worldwide supercomputer. you heard it right supercomputer. so anyone will be able to use golem to compute almost any program you can think of from rendering to research to running websites in a completely decentralized and inexpensive way Whew, that's a mouthful so golem is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network that uses ethereum and smart contracts for transactions obviously and the first use for golem is going to be uh brass golem that's what it's called and it provides cgi rendering for blender so i'm going to give you guys just one simple use case for golem picture nasa is trying to send the biggest space exploration feat they're trying to perform the biggest feat ever but they have all of these there's ridiculous amounts of calculations that need to be processed for some of these things like calculating trajectory you know thermal a bunch of stuff that needs to be calculated there's no computer in the world that can handle all of that or if it can it's going to take a very long time for it to actually process it it's not going to be real time useful enough to where their guidance systems let's say could you know use the feedback instantly to whatever you know they need to do a lot of computing and they need it fast let's say nasa goes to golem they use this super computer essentially that's just a network of everybody's computer that's keeping the network running and they're instead of solving random math problems like they are in bitcoin just solving for random hashes they're actually using their computer power to do something useful who would have thought that that would have been a good idea instead of just you know solving random shit maybe solve something useful <laughs> um it sounds like i'm bashing on like every coin that does proof of work um like that but um yeah golem is a smart idea really good use of processing power um and the blockchain so that is my number four go check it out number three we have loop ring oh my god i love loop ring so much so so much and it's still only number three I, it might have in my heart it's number two i'll be honest with you guys uh, you'll, you'll see what number two is but uh loop ring is number three you may have never heard of this coin it's pretty new um its market cap is 112 million 
62 million i'm not even gonna go over the supply i said i wasn't so let's just get into what loop coin loop loop ring is loop ring i actually thought of loop ring not the name like the idea behind it like on my own and i was like this would be so cool and then i just kind of forgot about it but i was like this would be so cool if it existed and you know like you think of ideas but you never like actually put in the work because it's like so much work to like like i don't code and like you know all of that good stuff but you think of great ideas all the time but you're like i'd never be able to do this because I, I don't i don't have the knowledge to do it but i thought of this and when i saw it i was like i love this coin and it was even better than i even had imagined in my head so what this is, is a decentralized exchange and open protocol. It's decentralized automated execution system trades across the different crypto exchanges. So let me let me put this in, in layman terms and in, in English for you guys. They have an automation, an automated system that can trade between different crypto exchanges at the same time. Now, they have this thing called ring matching which is a trading intelligence that interface interfaces between different exchanges and it provides even greater liquidity because think about it you want to sell ten dollars worth of bitcoin let's say and it'll what this algorithm does or their intelligence um trading intelligence ring matching thing what this does is it'll say oh look somebody wants to buy five dollars worth of bitcoin over here and somebody wants to buy five dollars worth of bitcoin over here so it'll automatically just split it up into little chunks and just sell it and get you the money makes sense so instead of being like damn you know that's why you see the different prices on different markets this would basically eliminate that because it can go simultaneously between any exchange so it provides more liquidity you know more people to buy coins because it's basically all exchanges in one. Makes sense? It's amazing. The idea is, I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I love it. <laughs> um, and this is designed to be blockchain agnostic as long as it has smart contract support. So any ERC token, ERC20 token automatically has that because it runs on the Ethereum network, which means all ERC tokens are supported by Loopring instantly. Um, and any other tokens that have that aren't ERC 20 but have smart contract support can be made to work. So another thing is Loopring does not require members to send tokens to exchanges for custody. So this is this is actually the part that I'm saying that I thought of. I was like, wouldn't it be so cool if I didn't have to like like I want to buy this coin, but it's specifically on this exchange. Damn it, I gotta send my money from this exchange to this exchange. And now I got to take the fee from that too. And it's like, oh, but now I want to use that shit. I want to go back to that exchange because there's this other coin I want to get like in a few days, you know? And then it's like, damn, now I got to eat a fee again. I was like, wouldn't it be so cool if you could just keep your coins? And also people are saying like, you know, what happens if Coinbase gets hacked? You're going to lose your money, centralized, all of that good stuff. So what this allows you to do is have your coins in your wallet, your own personal wallet that you have control over. And it allows you to buy from exchanges from your wallet directly so it gives you control of your coins and you can buy from any exchange you tell me if that doesn't sound amazing tell me right now that i did not just sell you on this and if i did please go ahead and click the, the subscribe button i'm gonna sell out right now yeah i'm gonna do it this coin's amazing if they can do what they're saying it's gonna be <laughs> i really think it's gonna be top 10 so go check it out number three loop ring i'm not even going to keep talking because you guys probably already clicked off the video to go check it out and throw all your money at it but <laughs> i'm not your financial advisor so either way let's move on to get my mouse out of there <laughs> let's move on to number two on the list the one that i'm saying should be number three because i like this one so much but whatever we'll keep it like that number two is cardano Corey, why would you put cardano up there it's not gonna 10x it's 200 billion it's already so huge I get it guys this one's kind of like a speculation one I, I, but cardano is just so it's so the idea is just so great like uh, i don't know i don't have enough good things to say about cardano i definitely agree that it's overpriced right now it's basically all right it's too let me just start over cardano is a coin it has 200 billion market cap and it's it's not even like a coin yet. It's just a coin. It doesn't do anything that it says it's going to do really yet. <laughs> so it's basically a $20 billion coin with a white paper, which is pretty ridiculous. That just blew up out of nowhere, but it blew up because it's so amazing what they're trying to do and people are really behind it. So 
Cardano is a generation three cryptocurrency. So what that means is Bitcoin was generation one. Ethereum is what they call generation two because it introduced smart contracts. And then Cardano is generation three because it builds off even more. Uh, it has smart contracts. And then uh, I forget what the actual name for the other thing is. Is it the data list or whatever? I'm not sure, but it builds off of Ethereum. So it's the next logical predis or what the next one to ethereum i can't think of the cool word to say that's next um successor that's what it is it's the successor to ethereum uh the next logical successor to ethereum so this is the first probably secure proof of stake algorithm and it's pre-reviewed by academics um i actually wrote that twice because i'm so excited about that that's so great um as somebody who's been in academia i know that peer review is does wonders that's why they do that for phds uh, i digress um, so let's move on their developers are top industry professionals who specialize in the fields this is one of the great things i liked about them i watched an interview with their ceo and he was talking about how he picks his developers he doesn't even pick people that are into crypto he just picks people that are really really good at what he needs them to do which is great because there's a lot of egos I, i'm paraphrasing what he said because there's a lot of egos in cryptocurrency and they'll just a lot of people will ask for a shit ton of money to work on their project because they know it's cryptocurrency and their threat is basically like well i'm smart and if you don't pay me this money like i'll just leave and start my own ico so it's a real thing that is really hindering a lot of progress in cryptocurrency but cardano is really taking a different approach and they're going through a rigorous like academic peer review process whenever they want to do a change they don't just do a change you know it has to go through a rigorous process that can take months you know it has to be reviewed by a board you know it's it allows for really a lot of innovation in ideas when you have to be so detailed and actually get stuff working so you can't just release you can't release a change just based on the idea of the change program it and say yeah this should work and it's buggy you know when something's peer reviewed it has to be perfect so it, it's i don't know i don't know if that doesn't make i hope that makes sense to you guys it's just a coin that's backed by people who are just professionals at what they do the best of the best peer reviewed like academic peer reviewed so it's just gonna be it's gonna be flawless like if this does anything that i can and you know if you look at the like i said right here the second to last point it's essentially just an idea at the moment and it's 200 billion or not not 200 billion sorry it's 20 billion market cap and it's basically just an idea now so that should say a lot about how great this could be and i really think they're gonna do a lot of the things that they're saying they're gonna do because of their peer review process and like i said they're hiring people who aren't even into crypto they're just hiring people who are just good at what they do so that they can get the job done and if you look at their roadmap it is incredibly detailed they provide constant updates it is amazing an amazing coin so that's it for cardano now last but not least my favorite coin for 2018 the top coin for 2018 number one substratum i love this coin so much obviously it's at number one i'm shilling so hard right now Th that sounded inappropriate but shilling i mean i'm like pumping this coin so hard right now to you guys like i'm not your financial advisor but guys this coin this coin is is the goat okay picture it's kind of like golem a little bit but not really at all it's and let me, let's just go over it it's for 547 million market cap i'm at a loss for words i'm trying to explain so like my mind is racing with all the stuff i want to say so let's just get started slowly 547 million market cap trading at two dollars and 42 cents right now last week it was trading at a dollar like this is one of those coins where like you don't want it to go up in value and hear me out here like i don't want it i get mad when it goes up in value you know why because i cannot buy more at the lower price i want it to stay low or go lower like when this coin drops i get happy because i want to buy more <laughs> it's one of the, that's how much i like this coin i'm like please don't go up stop going up i want to buy more for cheaper so i can have more coins so it's one of those coins but what substratum is it's an open source network that allows anyone to allocate spare computing resources to make internet a free and fair place to the world now this is very 
this coin is going to gain a lot of popularity especially now it actually already has gained a lot of popularity now with the net neutrality uh, stuff that's going on so this coin doesn't even care about net neutrality because with this network you can just bypass that <laughs> and you don't have to worry about the internet not being free and fair and you being throttled because you can use other people's resources that they allocate to you um, and that they're running a node their computer basically becomes a node and you can set which time that runs so if you leave your computer on all day well you can set it up like a schedule you know i go to work at this time blah blah blah, blah. so you can have it running from that time and you basically get paid for running a node in substratum makes sense so you're getting paid in their the currency uh, as payment for running the network now this creates essentially a decentralized web so like the tor network decentralized it essentially acts as a vpn i mean it is a vpn it's better than a vpn because it can't be targeted vpns can actually be targeted and taken down and ddos whereas substratum cannot be it's you can't do that because it's decentralized the nodes are always switching in between the different people that are running nodes so it essentially becomes unhackable it's it's a vpn but it's not a vpn some sites can read that you have a vpn um and they won't let you in substratum does not have that problem because it masks it masks its packets as being regular packets not vpn like type packets make sense so it just masks it as you just being a regular internet user nothing special and it's completely untraceable because you're using somebody else's computer to do it makes sense you're like routing through them so this is a great coin. They pay everyone who runs a substratum node, like I said, via cryptocurrency, specifically in substratum. They call it substrate. And that's each time they serve content. Another thing is, is it's super simple to use. Like if you've seen, they actually already had a beta or an alpha. Now they're having a beta at the end of this month. So I expect the price to go up even higher at the end of this month. And over time, as they fully release it, it's gonna go bananas. Because this is one of those things that as people adopt it more and more, the price is just going to go up and up and up because there's only so much substratum that's going to be ever around. And, you know, people are going to get the substratum for running nodes. And whenever you visit a website and all that stuff, it's just it's going to go crazy. I'm telling you guys, this coin is going to be I mean, it's number one for a reason. So super simple to use and untraceable like a VPN. Go check out their website. You can see the little mock-up of their UI. They have some videos. It's like so clean, so simplistic. It, anybody can use it. It's a VPN that literally anybody can use and it's better than a VPN. It might put VPNs out of business. <laughs> Seriously, it's crazy. Now, another thing that Substratum provides is web hosting. So they web, if you wanna host your website, decentralized, um, where, you know, you can never be attacked because again, you can know that website can't be really ddos because it's running on the decentralized network and that's always switching around between the dis different nodes so in order to hack it it's kind of like hacking bitcoin you'd have to hack all of them at once makes sense to try to ddos them so it's pretty much impossible to ddos it um i say pretty much because you I, I, anything is possible i don't know if any new technology comes out and then you can just ddos through it you never know some crazy thing can happen but as of now it's impossible to ddos it with the with the way they're going about things now another thing like i said they provide web hosting decentralized they can make your website decentralized and basically unhackable which is going to be big i think a lot of people are going to want to jump on that um so they're going to be making money off web hosting uh, and another thing is they're going to have crypto pay which is kind of like omg and a little bit like request Net not really request network but more like omg so they're going to have crypto pay which those websites that are hosting on substratum actually it can be any website they don't have to be hosting with substratum to use crypto pay but crypto pay is a service that web <coughs> websites can use to basically allow payments with any type of crypto so they don't have to worry about what the crypto is they'll get their money um, in fiat or whatever value it is that they want it in and we the people paying with crypto pay can pay with litecoin or whatever different cryptocurrency so it's kind of like a hybrid of omg golem and a vpn on steroids <laughs> their team is amazing too they've been around they've been together for like 20 years they've been working on networking for fortune 500 com companies and stuff like that so it's great and that's the number one coin I don't want to keep talking because I've been talking for like 40 minutes and this video is super long. 
I am so sorry. I will have um, annotations. Well, if you made it this far, it doesn't even matter why would I say that I'm going to have annotations because, yeah, the video is over. So they're kind of useless to you. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like below. I would really appreciate it. If you agree with my list, whatever, if something wasn't on that you want to point out to me, what's your favorite coin? What's your top three? Post in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I worked very hard to put this together. Um, so I really do hope you guys enjoy it. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all next time. Peace out.